Hi, my name is Margaret and welcome to my artsy corner of the internet. I thought it would be fun to kind of go back and watch some older BTS videos because, you know, they're on break right now. I haven't watched a bunch of their old stuff, so I thought it could be kind of fun, you know, go into the archives. So we're going to start with Mic Drop, which I'm realizing now is five minutes. And I feel like this year we got a lot of short K-pop songs, so it'll be kind of fun to watch a nice long one. I have actually seen this one before a long time ago. The isolations just automatically put you in such a mood. And then just going into like, like that's what I look like at 3 a.m. in my bedroom when I'm like giving a performance for my stuffed animals. This is all just the lead up, getting you ready. I will always love how J-Hope moves. I love how they all feel so light on their feet right there. Like it just feels like, like the floor is lava and they're just like, boom, pa, ha. like, like they don't stay on the floor longer than like a half second before they're just like boom. light on their feet. That's what I mean. I like how kind of free this feels. There's so much choreography in K-pop and everything's very structured and I'm sure that this is the exact same way, but with everybody kind of running in and running out and having the soloist who's singing or rapping being spotlighted and just kind of having like this natural casual, because everybody stands around like this, but having that kind of natural pulse in the music, it, I don't know, it feels very natural. I said natural like eight times. That's what it feels like. Some clean pops. I feel like this, the, the dance just fits with the music. And I feel like, you know, that's how most dance is. But there's something just so like, when I'm listening to the music, I want to do the same movements that they're doing that just shows good choreography that it's really following the natural impulses of the music i love the da 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 because it just fits so naturally with the rhythm of the music and calls attention to that accent in the music so much energy i like how they um they do and then they did that again in a completely different context but they used that same hand positioning which is great because it ties everything in even when they're bouncing from different textures or different tempos or rhythms keeping some of the things similar keeps the dance feeling co cohesive cohesive c o h e s i v e it this obviously came many years ago so it's not in the current trends of k-pop and even in just like a couple years you can kind of see how things shift in the industry and what's popular and what's not and i feel like this has i don't want this to sound wrong but it has like almost raw edges and the fact where it's still very clean it's put together it's professional but it has like this uh this like raw edge type of thing where it doesn't feel as curated or choreographed as some of the stuff that comes out now feels and i mean everything in a performance industry is curated to some extent but it does kind of have this uh a little bit raw of a feeling uh. turn it 
<laughs> it's moments like that that like stick in your brain that you know that it's good choreography because you're like yeah it kind of became iconic in my own brain <laughs> i love that it's so fun it's it's kind of unexpected too because they're all kind of doing their own thing so it feels a little discombobulated in the best way and then it recombobulates. I also really like that part because they're using the same choreography from the chorus, but then only some people are doing it. And it calls back because you remember what it was like in the first chorus when slowly people add on. And now they're doing the same thing, but in a totally different way. So it keeps it fresh and interesting and like, oh, but then you get excited because you kind of recognize something that's already happened. Still love that part. See, like we see that move a lot, but in different contexts, so it's fun. I love how... Sorry, that little heel stomp was so much energy out of nowhere and I love it. Sorry, there's tons of popping in this piece. And again, I feel like I've said this before, I can't pop, I wish I could. I love it. <laughs> Haters gonna hate, bam. Players gonna play. We're living life, man. Wise words to live by. Such a simple step, but the way that they do it with so much, like, uh, they have a, a resistance to it, like a resistance that makes it elevated and fun to watch. They also give it a little bit of a, like a, like a pop at the end, which kind of helps syncopate it. Yes. So many body rolls. It's great. <laughs> body rolls are the best. popping a full squat. I love when people add in jumps, like big jumps, high jumps into hip hop, because coming from like ballet contemporary, we do those all the time. But in hip hop, I feel like so much of it is so grounded. And that's kind of like one of the parts of the style that people notice is the grounded, the low. And so when they pop up, it's just lovely contrast. And also like when you are low, you are able to pop up pretty high, pretty efficiently. So it's, it's always a fun thing to see. Oh, that was it. <gasps> he dropped it. Yeah, that's it. That's the reaction. Thanks for watching and bye.